Good afternoon and welcome to CPTV, the Charlestown Pirate Television Report. It's Friday, May 27th. I'm Mariah Holt. And I'm Erica Adams. Stay tuned for the latest news and information for Charlestown High School coming up next. The CHS Pirate Football Program has announced a mandatory parent meeting for Wednesday, June 1st, beginning at 7 o'clock p.m. in the high school gym. This is a mandatory meeting for parents of all prospective CHS football players of the upcoming 2011 football season. Parents need to keep in mind that meeting with Coach Hawkins is required before their player can get their equipment. For more information, contact Coach Hawkins. Attention cadet teachers, even though computers are being picked up, you are still expected to complete your weekly logs and in a semester reflection. These forms can be printed off from Mr. Tolliver's website, or you can see him for copies. A future announcement will be made concerning when you will begin staying at CHS once again. The Charlestown High School Marching Band is looking for students interested in joining Color Guard. No experience is needed. We will teach you about the art of movement, dance, choreography, and music. All you have to do is show up to the two introductory sessions on Thursday, June 2nd, and Tuesday, June 7th, from 3 to 4.30. Please wear comfortable clothing and shoes. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Rohner, Erica Correll, or Keely Pace for more information. A benefit concert for Japan will be held on the Charlestown Town Square Friday, June 3rd, from 6 to 10 p.m. Many local artists will be performing. The mission is free. Food and games will be $1 or less. Concert t-shirts are on sale now. All proceeds will go to the Red Cross to help Japan. See Lindsay Harmon or Ashley Hopp for more information. Come out and support a great cause. All library books are due to the Media Center today, May 27th. If you have a lost library book, please see Ms. Lewis or Coots to check out how much money you owe. All college acceptance, military enlistment, and scholarship letters are due to Ms. Morrison by Tuesday, May 31st. If you don't turn in your paperwork, you will not be recognized as honors day and receive the SEEF scholarship. The Senior Slideshow is on sale beginning today and will continue through Wednesday, June 6. See Ms. Morrison to order. The best way to get your announcement on the CPTV report is to have a teacher email it to Mr. Gross. Please get that announcement to us three days in advance if possible. Applications for the Miss Clark County Fair Queen pageant are now available. Any girl between the ages of 16 and 21 are eligible to participate. Please see Mrs. Jones in the guidance office for an application. The latest Charlestown weather forecast plus your latest local sports coming up after the break. Good afternoon, I'm Taylor Jerome with a look at the Charleston weather forecast. Today, areas of patchy fog early, generally cloudy, high 69. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 56. Tomorrow, intervals of clouds and sunshine, high 83. That's a look at your Charleston weather, and here's the latest sports with Andy Siddham. Good afternoon, I'm Andy Siddham, and here's the latest Charlestown High School sports. And boys baseball rain on Thursday of force the postponement of two first round games in the Class 3A Silver Creek sectional at Stolersburg. Charlestown's opening round game with Mitchell will be played at 6.30 p.m. today. The other first round contest between Salem and Crawford County will take place at 11 a.m. Monday. That's local sports. A final word from the newsroom is next. Do you have a friend with a birthday coming up? If so, why not type a birthday in a special way by putting their announcement on the CPTV report? Simply bring in six pictures and three dollars term A103 in the business wing anytime between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. daily. And we'll get that special announcement on the CPTV report. Now you're up to date with the latest CPTV news, weather, and sports. I'm Eric Adams. And I'm Mariah Holt. Have a great day, Pirates, and thank you for watching the CPTV report.